Hello everybody and today welcome back to my how to pass series and today we're focusing on tutorials and in particular makeup so a couple of days ago I did do a video on the basics of makeup you can find the thumbnail here you can't click on it, but you can find the thumbnail here. Make sure you click on the eyes above to be able to find a link to that makeup video and some other videos in my How to Pass series. So I did do this video and you guys liked it. And if you are new here, remember, just subscribe to my channel. You can find the subscribe button down below. Because why wouldn't you want to subscribe to something that has awesome content just like this channel? Anyway, should we jump straight into the tutorial because I'm in that kind of mood. Let's just... Let's jump straight in the deep end. Also, I would advise you, if you are very new to makeup, do check out that thumbnail. If, if, if you haven't watched it, it probably will make no sense at all what this video is about. Step one, take off any accessories off your face. I cry. Then what I'm going to do is get a couple of bobby pins from here and pin my hair back so you can see my face nice and clearly. So that should do the trick. I only used three bobby pins. One for the fringe, one for the side, and one for the other side. Should we jump into the how to do makeup and let's boom the camera in? Okay, that, that's a bit creepy. Good to know. The first thing I always advise before putting on makeup is to use some kind of deep skin cleansing lotion just to get rid of all the bacteria. I'm just gonna be using Clean and Clear's deep cleansing lotion as well as some cheap cotton buds from Tesco. So, yeah. You can see how good quality the products I use are. So what you want to do is just douse some of the deep cleansing lotion onto the cotton bud and just rub it all over the face so you're all nice and clean and stuff so you have no grit under your skin and you're just absolutely perfect. I, I don't have to worry about being perfect because I am just naturally perfect and the fumes are burning my eyes. I do apologise if I start crying. Once that's done, I always advise using moisturiser, so I'm just going to be using some of the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Kit because it's pretty good moisturiser and I, I like it, I actually really like it. For the correcting day moisturiser, you just want to apply this all over your face, like so. Then you want to get your advanced correcting serum and just apply it onto your finger like so. Two squirts should be enough and then I like to split it in half by doing that and apply it onto the cheek related areas. The key to putting on moisturiser is definitely making weird faces. Yeah. The next product I'm going to be using is an awakening and correctum eye cream. So what you want to do for this is unscrew the little top of it and apply a teeny teeny weeny bit like so. That's actually quite a lot. Then when you've got it on, split it in half like you do. And I call this do the panda eyes effect. So open your eyes wide and apply it around the eyeball. And you just want to do that with both of them. I applied too much. So you just want to rub it in around both of the eyes like so. Then what you want to do is just make sure everything is all nicely rubbed in all over the face. So any bits where you didn't cover should be all covered now. So once you've done the moisturiser, get your concealer, just undo this and watch carefully where I put it. So on the nose line, a triangle under the eye, a triangle under the other eye, and on your chin line. Then put it on your bow and make a McDonald's type M, like that. Then what you want to do is go over all the blemishes or red marks or spots or anything that isn't the normal colour. Then get a beauty blender and make sure you blend it all in nicely. I 
I forgot to get a foundation brush. So when you've applied the concealer, make sure you get some foundation and a foundation brush. And remember your foundation brush. And then what you want to do is get your brush and apply foundation to the brush. Also, watch carefully on where I apply the foundation. If you didn't get that, when you've lightly spread it out, get your beauty blender and then cover the entire face with the sponge and make sure you blend all the makeup in so far which is the concealer and the foundation remember also to go into all the edges and creases so in particular people forget the side of the nose and the top of the eyelid when you've done all of that blending you're now on to the step of the powder so i'm just using rimmel 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 I, I can never pronounce this some people tell me off so i'm just going to say rimmel Ramel, Ramel. Stay matted, normal skin colour powder, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Pressing powder, that's what it's called. So you get the powder and you put the brush in, like so. My powder's like really old and very, very unused. Once you've got the powder applied to the brush, you want to apply it all over the face. Once that is all done, time for the bronzer. Now, bronzer it's very important you get the right shade. If you don't, it's gonna make you look really, really bad. So make sure you get the right shade for your right skin colour. And again, it's just Rimmel's London Natural Bronzer for me because I'm just so perfect. So you get your contour brush and you put it into the bronzer very, very lightly. Then what you want to do is tap the brush. So all the big bits of bronzer get off the brush. This is very important you do that because you don't want to look unnatural. Then what you want to do is apply it lightly on the side of the nose, on your jawline, and on your hairline. And make sure you drag that down your temples. When you've applied the bronzer, just put down the brush so you don't do too much. Now, only for beginners I would advise doing this is to get your powder brush and go over it. If you are confident in the amount you've put on, go back to your contour brush and just do it that way. And when you've done that, you will use your powder brush and go over it. I'm just gonna be using number seven blush and a multitask brush. I did do that video, as I've already said, the makeup basics video where I do talk about the brushes and the products. So you want to lightly dab. I just said dab. You saw nothing. So you want to lightly put the brush in the blush. Very, very lightly on both sides. And smile, smile, it's good. And can you see that perfect triangle here? Here, if I draw it out here. Yeah, you see that triangle? That's where the blush is going to go. And you just want to carry it out up here, just above where you'd put highlighter. We're not doing highlighter because it's very, very basic makeup. And for the other side, you just put it here as well. And finally, mascara. So you just get the mascara brush. It's probably best to warm up the mascara brush. So you can do it this way, or you can put it under your armpit and just hold it like that or whatever way you want to warm up your mascara I myself don't particularly care my light my lights will probably melt it Ooh, we'll just wait here for a second okay that should be good enough so you get your mascara brush and watch carefully as you can see I am doing small small 
small strokes very slowly and nothing too big when you've applied a couple of coats you just want to like lightly close your eyes because if you go like that it will make dots and dots aren't good you just want to like like a little wink and that will just help it dry quickly and it will also spread to the bottom lashes when you're doing the other hand you shouldn't really do that where you have the hand here and you go like that because if you do that it's kind of at an awkward angle so you might as well just use your left hand yes if you're right handed that probably sounds impossible if you're left handed it probably sounds impossible to do your right hand if you can use both hands though you're perfect just like me magic and once you've done the mascara all done time to take out the hair clips it's magic uh oh oh always believe in the hair clip 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 yeah so get your jumbo comb and just go through all your hair making sure it looks back to normal like it should do and when you've done that put on the accessories that you may have had on before then what I advise, just in case you still feel like it's too much, get a cotton bud and just lightly dab it on um, places where you feel it needs to be lessened and less heavy. And that is how you put on makeup using wonderful products and good quality stuff. Don't, 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 don't resort to Tesco's released stuff, obviously. A question that I do get asked a lot is, I've now got makeup on. How do I remove it? Because for some trans people, they can't live in makeup and they always want to know how they can get rid of it before their parents or family members find out they're wearing makeup. So take off your accessories and make make sure that they're nicely put away. Get your cotton bud and deep cleansing lotion. Open it up like so. Pour it on. And then get your cotton bud with the cleansing lotion and just wipe it away as you can see it gets it off very efficiently so you just want to do this all over as for mascara it's a bit more of a challenge because it's on the eyelash and you can't really put this near the eye only because you don't want to get blinded like I got blinded at the beginning of this video so that's half of the face that I've cleansed in about 30 seconds. The rest is still to go. So in a minute, you should be good to go and back into your everyday life if that's the issue. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. And remember as always, like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. And good bye.